Jens got slammed last night. Yeah, it was a tough night. Oh, we're not called tomorrow. So. Okay, guys, uh, why don't we get started with this week's Journal Club. This week, Dave is going to present an article about helical CT scanning for pulmonary embolism. Now, before we begin, uh, Janice from Pharmacon Laboratories is here, and she was kind enough to bring us a really great lunch. So she'd like to say just a couple words. Thanks, Steve. Um, I really appreciate the opportunity to sponsor your journal club today, and I'd like to say a few words about Cephkilol, which is our new third-generation oral cephalosporin. Cephkilol is currently approved for the treatment of sinusitis, skin and soft tissue infection, as well as the acute exacerbation of chronic bronchitis. You can also use it for pharyngitis. We are currently working on getting approval for the treatment of community-acquired pneumonia in conjunction with a macrolide antibiotic. Cepkilol has convenient BID dosing, and in a recent large study, it was shown to be as effective as azithromycin in the treatment of acute exacerbation of COPD. So remember, when your patient comes in with COPD, skin or soft tissue infection, or sinusitis, you have Cepkilol at your disposal. Are there any questions? Is it on formulary here? Good question. Cepkilol isn't yet on your hospital formulary, but we're working with the hospital's pharmacy committee to get it there on the, within the next few months. In the meantime, tell your attendings and ID folks that you want to use Cepkilol, and that should definitely help speed things along. As far as your outpatients go, you can prescribe Cepkilol without a problem. Are there any other questions? Okay, well great, thanks for having me. I have reprints of the article that I referenced in the back of the room, and feel free to take as many pens as you like. Enjoy your lunch. All right, thanks Janice. Uh, Dave, why don't you get started? So this is a randomized controlled trial looking at patients who present